Hey y'all, so today I want to get on and review the Curly Kink Satin Roots Leave-In Detangler. Um, before I begin, I just want to say these products were sent to me by Curly Kinks uh, for a review. Obviously, this review is my own opinion. So, um, this is, actually, I only have a little bit left. Um, this is a very nice leave-in conditioner. Um, it has ingredients like water, um, calendula flower extract, sunflower extract, aloe vera, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to put the ingredients down here. Um, and one of the things that introduced um, or intrigued me about the Carly Kings line as a whole is that she uses broccoli seed oil. And broccoli seed oil is one of the oils that um, is said to give your hair a lot of shine, similar to using silicones, but without the buildup of silicone. So um, anyway, moving right along, um, let's see if I can bang some out so I can get, see it moves pretty well in here so I can show you what the consistency is like. So it's like a creamy type leave-in conditioner. Um, it's very similar in consistency to Not Today or um, Curl Junkie Smoothing Lotion um, in performance. I would personally compare it more to smoothing lotion, um, which is a very good thing because my hair personally does not like Not Today. So at first when people told me that it was supposed to be an, like a Not Today dupe, I was kind of like, I hope not because my hair does not like that jumps. Um, but um, it does also have glycerin as the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, eighth ingredient. So it's pretty low on there. I would say this would be more like if your hair is affected greatly by glycerin, I would say this is more like a moderate level. It's not going to like super, super um, make your hair go cray cray, um, but you could feel the effects of it. And I, I talk about glycerin so much in my videos, and I'm not saying that glycerin is a bad ingredient at all. Um, I've gotten some questions about it, and that's not what the point of what I'm saying is. Um, I have some videos about dew points. Um, some blog posts about using glycerin on my hair and some tests I did back when I had a TWA. Um, it's really just about glycerin being a humectant and using it in a proper um, dew level. Sometimes I go places and the dew is very high. It's like in the 70s, which means it's like very humid. Um, or it could be very low and then my hair will get dry. Um, and then if it's high, my hair can get frizzy. So just watch those videos and um, you, it might make more sense what I'm talking about. Um, so this is why... I hadn't used this product before because it was like in winter and um, you know our dew points were getting down to like the 20s so I didn't want to use this because of the humectant effects. Um, but I will say overall because glycerin is not in the first like five ingredients, it's, it's in there but it's not super super high up there. Um, when I went outside here I used this product when the dews were a little bit higher like around 60. And I still felt the effects. I, I would walk outside and I could feel my hair significantly uh, soften up. Um, it would get fluffier, but it would not get to the point where it was going to frizz out. Like the effects of the glycerin were not that strong. Um, so just let me talk about how this felt going on my hair. Um, oh wait, let me talk about the smell first. And then I'll get back to my experience. You know, I like to go over the objective little details. Um, so... The smell, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really, I don't really like the smell. Um, people were telling me that it smelled like cake. To me, I get a very strong floral note. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Um, it's not my favorite smell, but it's definitely tolerable. It does not smell uh, offensive to me at all. So um, yeah, but, so putting this on my hair, it's like a really, um, it's thinner but it's still rich as a leave-in conditioner it's definitely a conditioner consistency i would not consider this a hair milk like i said it's kind of like curl junkie smoothing lotion um going on my hair except <clears throat> the smoothing lotion does like foam up a little bit more um or it can foam up a little bit more especially if you use too much but this one doesn't really do that it absorbs well into my hair um you kind of might think that it's lighter going on and it might not give you that lasting moisture but every time I've used it my hair has ended up like super soft and I've used it obviously I've used it with the um, Curly Kings uh, Coil Jam uh, gel you know I've used it with like Uncle Funky's daughter uh, let me see what else I use it with did I use it with aloe vera gel? no I didn't like it with aloe vera gel it kind of makes it funny um, but for the most part what I use this with my hair came out really nice um, I really enjoyed it. Um, another thing that I like about this product is that you can see 
how it kind of like smooths your ends down. It does not, um, my, my ends weren't getting like really frizzy or really frazzled even if I was going outside and high dew points, things like that. So that was also really, really nice. Um, one thing I did notice with this product and the Curly Kings product as a whole, um, my hair definitely shrinks more when I use these products, um, but it's not in a bad way. You know how I say there's a difference between your hair shrinking and your hair like, um, what's the word for it? Shriveling, right? Okay, so shrinking is like your hair, you know, it's fluffy, it's, you know, it shrinks up, that's what curly hair does. Um, but then if your hair is shriveling up, it's like shriveled and dry and like compact and do just doesn't feel good, usually it feels crunchy, all that kind of stuff. So right now I have this in my hair. I actually used it with the um, coil jam today. Um, and my hair, like I said, it, sometimes my hair will hang like below my collarbone in the front. It's, it's a little bit higher today, but I mean, I don't mind it. It's nice and fluffy and my hair is big. So that's how I personally like my hair. Um, just something to think about. And let's see, in terms of detangling, yes, I could detangle with this. It does go on with a pretty good amount of soap. However, because it is on the lighter side, like it's thin, it's not super, super thick. Um, if you have thicker hair like me, you may need to apply more. So you might not want to use this as your sole detangler. Um, I didn't detangle with a comb with it. I was just doing like regular finger combing like my Reiki and smoothing when I apply my product. And it worked fine for that. It definitely helps, you know, smooth out some tangles um, that could have been in my hair from my shower or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Like I said, it's a good product. Um, I just a preview going forward um the total like superstar of the entire line for me is the um twist whip um it's actually not released yet but when it comes out i, I can't review it yet because i used it all because i loved it so much um so when it comes out i'm gonna have to buy a full jar so i can do my reviews so i can like do my hair with it you guys can see what my hair looks like and all this kind of stuff um so yeah i mean that's pretty much it i'm gonna post more pictures of my hair with the satin roots in it um, on my blog, so I will link to that as well. Anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.